King right there. Flavio Magon in orange. Round two underway. Messi King inching forward. Flavio Magon going back. And, and look at his knee, Thales. Look at that knee. Yeah. It's even worse. That leading knee you can see on your screen right. that, I mean, the bruise is yeah, huge. Yeah. And King is going to continue landing. And that that could end the fight, man. It affects the full work a lot. It makes it hard for Magon to even move forward. He's going to want to get away from this. I'm surprised he hasn't uh, changed his stance yet. But then when he, if he changes his stance, his left leg, the calf is completely yeah. red and welted. Oh, King, man, getting some great kicks. But he works his hands pretty well. Now I'm not going with the inside leg kick. King charging forward, Whoa. getting some good punches, but Magon replies quickly. Good. I was going to say good kick by King, but Magon held on. I'm surprised Magon is not going on top. He's a Makako gold team guy. Makako is a jiu-jitsu guy. It's the jiu-jitsu team as well as MMA. He's going to get a few of these kicks from this position. Thanis, I'm surprised he's not going in. Maybe his knee and his legs can't touch the ground. Yeah. I'm going to try to abuse of these legs of King because, well, from there, King can't really get the good kicks in that he was getting before. But I would imagine that Margon wouldn't want him to get back up and hit that knee and that calf as much as he did before. And you guys at home, you can see it on the screen, all of these bruises and welts that are on the legs of Fabio Margon. And if not much happens, Osiris Maya will get these guys to stand up again. What is happening? He's kicking. Just got to continue busy. They have to continue busy. Margon have to, has to continue trying to find a way in to kick him, to hurt King in some way. And King has to get some space so he can get up that's I knew this was gonna happen oh and there it goes again my goal's a warrior man because yeah but my goal has it. a have have hand too yeah he wants a knockout oh yeah King it oh nice body shot from my goal and then uh he, ha he has to be a 10 King's gonna let another one go right there. No, he's working the hands now. Yeah. My goal at times keeping that guard really low. Not well, right here he is. But then when King gets close, he puts his arms up there. And he saw he, he switched his stance for a second. Ooh, nice body shot and then a great cross right to the to Magon's face. Good jab. Moving forward. Round two, a minute left. These heavier guys always looking for the knockout punch. We haven't seen anything on the ground, really. The stands are yelling, kick him in the legs. <laughs> that, that left hand was strong for my goal, although it was checked by King. Most of these punches from from King Magon has been able to uh, to guard against, but uh, those kicks, 
That's a different story. Round two. Is there anything? A few words, friendly words between the two fighters. I'll try to get a kick to the head. I think King hurt his leg kicking probably because of this he's not kicking anymore and yeah, maybe that's what he was telling his corner for sure yeah because you know it was it is clear to understand that the key to his victory was the kick yeah it was it was the I'm the kicks the leg kicks the calf kicks and he stopped to do it I'm trying to see his look at his look at his I'm not sure, but his yeah, left foot it, it looks, looks really weird, huh? swollen, yeah. yeah. And I don't know about his right ankle, but his left foot is really, really swollen, man. But without kick, I don't see. He, <clears throat> well, he got the kick that time, but... Uh, but without the kicks... It equalizes yeah, things a little Magon bit. Yeah, grows. I tried to throw an elbow this time. Yeah. Magon's getting hit, but he's still moving forward. Ah, high kick for my goal. That's yeah. pretty good. Defended by my king. Even even without the kicks, he's working his hands pretty well. Oh, king. Oh, what little slip? That was just a slip. King and Magon, Magon and King. As heavier guys, a little bit of a different pace than our last fight between Astro Boy and Carlos Veras. A good body shot by King. Whoa. Magon ate two punches right on his face. Yeah, he did eat two punches right there. These guys, man, it's round three, two minutes, four seconds left. Here, the pace is a little bit different. Spinning back fist, not even close to Magon. Magon just kind of smiled. This fight is worth the light heavyweight belt of Chuto Brazil that is vacant. These guys are fighting for a belt. Possibly King feeling one of his feet is not kicking as much as before. Magon really working more of the punching. He does have a few kicks here and there. There you go. And King saying that that was a low kick. Magon had one in the first round. In round two, it was King who got Magon with a low blow. See, that's not a low blow, is it? That is, to me, that was right on the stomach, it seemed like, to me. I thought it was on the stomach. Like the first one, I thought it was on the stomach. Who am I going to accept to stop it, too? I don't know. Well, one Looks he agree. Yeah, one thing's for sure. These guys are, are tired, man. I mean, it's hot out here. They're tired. And it's only round three. I'm not sure... From what we're seeing right here, if we're going to get a knockout, man, I think this is going distance. Oh, just as I say that, King already connects, but so does my goal. It's back and forth. A little bit of yeah. boxing here in Chuto, Brazil. My goal hitting the body, then he goes to the face. He's looking. Yeah, for a good with, shot. with dog. Sorry. Nice inside leg kick by Magon and another one. Is he picking up his pace? Without, without 
King's Kick, Magon Gross. Well, Mark, a King still has those long arms. He can try to work these jabs as he's been doing. There's that jab that makes its way to Magon's face. Magon's going forward. He's, he's eating those jabs. He's getting those jabs on his face, but he continues walking forward. Ten seconds left in round three. Oh, they give it a little bit of energy. Fly knee, and Magon has him on the corner. He brings down Ooh, King. Hammer man. fist, hammer fist, hammer fist. What happened there? It was the end of the round. The end of the round. It was the end of the round. It's Magon. over, it's over. Is it over? It's over. It's over. Is it over? Magon is the new champion. Well, King is down. Magon isn't celebrating as if, as if he's the new champion. Let's see, it's something on his ribs, probably. Uh, I don't know. He got. He tried the flying see, knee. See, his ribs. And then Magon just went on him yeah. and hammered away those those hammered fists. The actually. left hook on the, the Oh, hips. right there on yeah. the ribs. And King had a hard time right there. We already have cameras inside of the cage. It didn't look like Magon was celebrating that much, but King is in pain. It is a rib. Magon, Flavio Magon is the new champion. That was the last fight of Chuto Brazil. King is upset, just shaking his head. Magon with his wife and his teams with him will get the belt of Chuto Brazil. Your winner by knockout at five minutes of the third round and your new Chuto light heavyweight champion, Flavio Magon!